Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Alice Murray and this is Mermaid Designs. And I am very excited to show you today this cute little top, which is day 45 of 365 days of sewing makes. And I thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking, for reading my blog. Um, thank you all so much for um, all the interaction that uh, we're having over these sewing makes. I really enjoy that. So today I am showing you McCall's 6632. Uh, you may remember this pattern from day 15. I made a Boston Terrier version of this for my grandson William. Show you the line drawings at the back. You can see it has uh, long sleeves, short sleeves, pockets, no sleeves. There's a yoke at the back and a pleat in the back. And uh, there's a shirt tail hemline. Show you this one. This is. Uh, a marvelous one meter. I kind of love this top. I hope you like it too. I think it's quite beautiful. And in addition to being beautiful, it, uh, it, it feels super nice. It, this is made out of, um, uh, it's kind of a, a linen, linen feel, uh, but I, I believe it's a cotton, but it's kind of got a linen feel to it. Linen is made from flax. That's the difference. Uh, it's called Palma Print Blue Floral, and I got it from a company called Spool and Spindle, which... Um, is a uh, online Canadian fabric store out of Waterloo, Ontario. And um, yeah, got some, got some nice things from them. And it's, uh, it's quite, quite a beautiful, beautiful print. Put uh, navy buttons on it. Because it's a marvelous one meter, it's not too long because to get the sleeves out too, I had to uh, kind of rob a little off the length of it. Uh, it has a yoke on the back and uh, I actually, um, the yoke piece that's on the inside, I, I used a different, I didn't think anyone was going to see it and I didn't have enough of this material for it so I uh, just used a different piece of cotton for that. So yeah, I'll give you another twirl. And um, what I'm grateful for today is actually another bit of sewing help is, I don't know, there's kind of bits of thread all over this, but I don't know if you sew, if you have yet, um, purchased a ham. And again, I'm not um, endorsing any particular um, brand or anything, but um, so this sewing ham is very useful when uh, you're sewing uh, neck seams, uh, you know, to get the curve in them. And, and in fact, I didn't even realize how helpful it was until I got one. And it makes that so much easier. Or like if you have a um, waistband, uh, just kind of stretching it over and so, and ironing it on this makes, uh, a world of difference. Who didn't, who knew? I didn't. But anyways, I just wanted to pass that on to you. I am very grateful for my ham. And, uh, so if you are sewing, put that on your wish list, put it on your Christmas list that, uh, they're, they're not very expensive. I think I paid maybe $14 for this one. So, um, yeah, they're not very expensive. So I hope that you are sewing 
And you can make a cute little top like this too. Because sewing is so much fun. Till next time.